In this video we introduce the adjust to shape tool for optimizing a weight map configuration for fitted mesh. This tool actually helps us to optimize the weights, by defining a target shape that we want to match for a specific combination of the appearance sliders. Luckily Blender already provides a tool for this. We will use shape keys, and here is how it goes. Part 2, Prepare a corrective shape key. Please note. This part works only when you also have the sparkles add-on installed and enabled. Move down to the avatar appearance panel. Right to the belly size slider you find a button for attaching a corrective shape key. When you click this button, then you get a new entry in the shape key list of the dress. And this new shape key has already been prepared for usage with Avista. Especially the new shape key will later be controlled by the appearance slider. We will see in the next video what that means. Please also note that the new shape key is related to the neutral shape key. This becomes very important when you later want to set up more than one corrective shape key. And also note the new shape key has been pinned. That means all other shape keys do not influence the mesh until you have finalized the shape key. Now you can safely step into edit mode, and then modify the mesh to your likes. Please remind that corrective shape keys are a feature that we provide with the Sparkles add-on. If you do not have Sparkles, then you also can create a corrective shape key manually. But this is not the topic of this video. Also note, that the Adjust to Shape tool is best used in combination with the Smooth by Weights tool that I introduced in the last video chapter. However, you can use both tools independent from each other, so let's proceed and go ahead with tweaking the mesh. When you are satisfied with the shape corrections, then step back to weight paint mode, and finalize the corrective shape key. During the finalization of the shape key Avastar recalculates the shape key data, so that the shape key can later be combined with other shape keys. Now let's test the shape key. When we set the shape key value to zero, then the mesh reverts to its original shape with all distortions visible. And when we set the corrective shape key value to 1, we see how we actually want the mesh to appear. But we also have to remember what we are currently doing here. The shape key defines how we want the mesh to appear when the belly slider is set to its maximum value. Hence we need to propagate the desired shape into the current shape, just by modifying the object's weight maps. And this is the moment where the Adjust to Shape tool enters the scene. This tool attempts to redistribute the weights between the collision volume and the classic second life bone such that the anticipated shape is matched as close as possible. Note that this tool only modifies the weight distribution, while the mesh itself is not changed. Take care that your shape key is enabled, and your slider is at its maximum value. Then call the Adjust to Shape tool. Now let's see what happened. Disable the shape key again. We immediately can see the massive distortions are gone, and the shape looks much nicer now, although the tool was not able to fix all parts of the mesh. Let's also check how the mesh now behaves when we decrease the belly slider value. Well, this is very promising. So, in principle we can now delete the shape key, because we no longer need it. However the distortions on large belly slider values are still unpleasant. In the next video I introduce two alternatives for improving this.